Okay, so I had a dream last night. I don't know. It's, it might just be a dream. I don't know, but I'm sharing it because I feel like I really need to get it out there. You know, it's one of those that's on you. It's what I'm just doing, what I feel like I really, really am being pushed to do. So, there was a cataclysmic event that is now causing water to take parts of this map and it surrounds them okay so it kind of like it's kind of like it i had to take this one because this one is like totally perfect to explain it okay so the way i was showed the map like i'm standing on the map i get pulled back okay so that i can see the map and you know map becomes smaller so i can see the whole thing this, this is crazy. Okay. I'm still, my mind's still kind of gone about this. Like, I'm still kind of in shock a little bit. Okay, so you see the, the color of the water. It is the same as the color of the little, uh, the little lines in between the states. Okay. Okay, now, over here, parts of Washington, Oregon, all of California, a little bit of Nevada, and some of Arizona is gone. Okay. Some of it. So let me kind of give you. <laughs> I should probably. Well, yeah, I should probably use blue. Okay. So, a little bit, not much, but a little bit it's gone. A little bit's gone here. Kind of swoops over, takes a little bit of Nevada. Takes all of California. Comes back over. Takes part of Arizona like that. Okay, so that all falls into the ocean. You could buy literally whatever else. Ocean. All that falls into the ocean. Okay. Then, over here, this is weird. Okay, over there, it looked kind of normal. Like, it was just being taken by water. Okay, water's coming in, taking it. <clears throat> and then there's this little, um, like, spots that start to pop up just like water like new lakes are forming okay kind of stuff okay um but then over here on this on the east part of it like it's really weird the way this happens over here i start seeing the outline like of the state and then the state just kind of falling in if you can kind of see what i'm saying so, like, the water will surround a state in the dream. And then the state breaks off, and it starts to kind of sink, sink Titanic style. And it starts, you see that part of it's gone, and then it, the water keeps coming because it's breaking off and it's sliding in, right? It's, it's really hard to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. But this starts happening to all of these states. They just start, they get surrounded by water, and then they break off, and then they fall in again and it just breaks off and falls in and again and it breaks off and it slowly falls in and this starts happening all around here like I can't do it the way it was happening but it just like it just started taking states and then they all just start freaking falling in it was the craziest thing okay but in the middle of this cataclysm okay I'm being chased so I went from the map situation to being in the middle of water chasing me okay and us with everybody running screaming grounds opening up like splitting cars are going into these giant crevasses giant crevices houses are collapsing on themselves and these crevices then fill up with water so we're literally running jumping on top of cars trying to get across these crevices they're filling up with water as soon as they're opening up they just start you can you can hear the water and it starts just filling up the crevices i don't know what that means okay i live on the east coast so maybe i don't know but that's what i'm seeing they just fill up with water and um but these choppers show up like we are just we're, we're we realize that we're completely screwed you cannot outrun what's happening to my state and i'm in virginia okay that's where i'm at so like i said it surrounds it and then it's slowly going down right so there's this crevice that opens up right and there are these crevasses these splits and it just starts taking it because it's chunking it's like chunking into the water it's, it's hard to explain anyway so these choppers start showing up and they're snatching us out of the water, right? They're snatching people with choppers. Show up, they drop these like 
like rope ladder things in and people grab a hold of them and when the one came down and dropped you know in front of me and I grabbed it as soon as I latched my hand onto one of these rung things on the ladder everything went white and then I'm like in a whole different situation I'm sitting in a lawn chair beside of another guy this other guy's older you know he's got hair like sheep's wool I did not realize it was God in the dream <clears throat> Until I woke up, okay? I didn't realize until I woke up, you know, like punching myself, you know, slapping myself. Didn't you realize? You could have said something, but you didn't say anything. You just smiled and looked around. But he's sitting in a lawn chair beside me, and he's looking around, and everybody's like ecstatically happy. They're running, kids are playing, you know, you hear babies giggling, you hear dogs and cats, you know, cats are meowing, running around and running towards their owners. It's so cute and dogs barking and just happy to see people and people are like talk, talking to each other running towards each other hugging everybody like i haven't seen you in forever you know it's like a huge family reunion like crazy awesome and the place that we're, we're at is like the most awesome like it was like it had like that neighborhood feel to it but it was too beautiful to just be a regular neighborhood the houses were just mind-blowing but each of these houses was like distinct it was like they were designed by the people that lived in them or was going to live in them. You know what I mean? Like, you designed your house. Your house was designed for you. My house, incidentally, is, and mine's weird, mine's a giant tree house. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> it's a giant tree house in a tree that has multiple different kinds of fruit on it. So, like, any kind of fruit you could ever want is on it. So, there's, like, avocados up there with bananas and oranges and apples and peaches and, and plums and every every form every form of fruit <laughs> and that's what I want so mine's the tree house you know and it's huge which I didn't ask for a huge one I just want a tree house that's seriously what I asked for I said I want a tree house that has multiple cans of fruit so I sell my tree house and I'm like this is a mansion in a giant tree wow you know what I mean but it's just it, so I know what that place was that was heaven and those choppers, maybe that's how my mind was dealing with the angels snatching us. Or maybe that's part of the grand delusion that is going to be perpetrated to make the, you know, them, the bad guys, the ones who are lost, you know, basically fool them, right? Because he will create a grand delusion that they will believe the lie, the lie that the Antichrist is the Savior. So how does that grand delusion work? You know, how, how does that work? So, from what I saw, and what I could tell, um, other, people, other people can probably see other stuff in it, but what I see is <clears throat> we're going to get snatched out in the midst of a worldwide cataclysm, and that's how they explain away. That's how the Antichrist and his little group explain away the millions of people, millions of Christians disappearing. Because this great cataclysm happens at the same time that we get snatched out. That's what I saw. And I think that, yeah, there are angels, but they appeared as choppers. Possibly to help with that delusion. To make people believe. I don't know. but Or maybe, like I said, that's just my mind trying to deal with angels coming and snatching us. I don't know. But that's what I saw. That, that was my dream. That is the craziest dream. I've never had a dream like that. Like, ever. Okay? And I've definitely never been sitting there by Father God. I've never actually seen Father God. Never seen. I've seen Yeshua, seen Jesus, but I've never seen the Father. Okay, that dude who was happy, who was like a happy grandpa, happy proud grandpa, watching his kids playing. It was the look on his face. It was just wow. But y'all, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a seer. I'm not a prophet. I don't, you know, I don't claim to be anything other than just a normal human being, a person that you know. Asked for the Holy Spirit to come upon them and to forgive them of their sins. I was a bad person, and you know, in the beginning, I was a horrible person, and that I'm a normal person, okay? I'm just an average person. I'm not special in any way, okay? Not special. Um, but that's what I saw, and I just, I really, really felt it hard on me this morning, and I haven't been able to even just chill for a minute. I've been trying to figure out and weighing it. Should I, should I share this? Should I not? And every time I, I think maybe I shouldn't, then I get like this hot flash. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. I don't know. But I get like this physical hot flash. And it's not like a normal hot flash like you get with hormones. This is like a growing fire. So I have to get this out 
and we just will stop 